Okay, so this is the red Varho panel um, in the SCIO program. And so here you can see uh, the voltage of the body, the amperage of the body, the resistance of the body, the hydration of the body, and the oxygenation of the body. And you can get to it from the information uh, drop down menu at the top. And you can compare the uh, these parameters uh, before and after the stress reduction session. And so basically I wanted to review some of the biofeedback um, basic biofeedback programs. Uh, in the skill. So from the main panel we go into the biofeedback program. And so this is the biofeedback graphicon which theoretically shows you um, the reactivity of the stress reduction and so in the biofeedback program Let's see, we can go into program complete. Enter when ready. The stress reduction of the spine. So here when we have this up, we can suggest to the client that they uh, visualize white light coming into the body or into the spine or chi or god energy however you would like to call it um, feel sense or imagine not everyone is a feeling type of person and not everyone is a sensing type of person so we always leave these options feel sense or imagine energy going into the spine and or uh, white light entering the spine and so after we've done this uh, there are several other programs that we can do from here as well um, and after each program we can go and test the body parameters or review the body parameters to see if the voltage, amperage, resistance, hydration, and oxygenation uh, have, uh, have improved. Program complete. Enter when ready. One of my favorite programs in the biofeedback is just to go into the unconscious uh, choice and work on the things that come up in the un unconscious choice.
So, uh, the next, uh, next program related to the biofeedback is the shaping function. And the shaping function, what, what it will do is when we go into when we go into the body viewer for instance and we uh, Ask the client to visualize uh, stress reduction in some particular part of the body. Um, then we can go into the shaping function and add various electronic reinforcements uh, electronic shapes of certain neurotransmitters uh, and uh, as a re reward for the uh, stress reduction behavior modification reward and so uh, back to the body viewer uh, one more time and so So, for instance, if we have someone with a migraine, uh, we might ask the client to feel, sense, or imagine anything that would help reduce the stress in the brain. And with this, this visual stimuli, it can help to have the client um, focus their attention on relaxing uh, a certain part of the brain. Now, this is uh, coming up with some subconscious choices, suggesting that the uh, chakra may be clogged, so we could ask the client to visualize the chakra being cleared out and or the white blood cells um, being healthy. And so from here, you can go into the shaping function. And so the shaping function will add, um, for, for instance, uh, cortisol. It can give an electronic signature of cortisol as a positive reinforcement in the biofeedback stress reduction. 
and there are various uh, there's a, a long list of and of course love is one of the favorite ones there's a long list of electronic shapes we can give uh, and so basically you want to put the number in followed by commas of each um, electronic shape uh, you want to give the client for the positive reinforcement during the biofeedback session and so going back into the biofeedback program uh, we have all the organ systems and we can ask the client to visualize increased circulation uh, feel, sense, or imagine increased circulation in the lungs or any other part of the body and uh, check for uh, resolution or rectification near the end also check the body parameters to see uh, how they've improved and so and this here is showing right now a resolution of 82 percent that's and it's a 82 percent improvement and so in this part of the program we have to close it at a particular point when the skill box is not working okay so and the other programs I like to go to in the biofeedback program is subspace um, unconscious interaction Enter when ready and it's going to suggest certain um, biofeedback therapeutics uh, for instance uh, a stress reduction in the lymph system uh, and stress reduction for rationalization And so again, what I always do is, at the end, check for any remaining issues. Now, it's showing some traumatic issues here. And in this case, you might go into um, NLP biofeedback and search for unconscious reactivity and so in the unconscious reactivity then we explore it may come up with certain times in 
your life when you experienced a trauma and then we would uh, work on reducing the stress with that trauma and then after we would work on it here excellent then now the excellent sound again is the reinforcement that the client has reduced stress and so I will like to go into the homotoxicology and find out what environmental factors or toxins may be producing excess stress and what we can do and talk about what we can do to <laughs> eliminate that uh, for instance uh, caffeine is coming up high and for instance uh, dairy toxins may be coming up high and so what we would want to do is work on uh, reducing stress in uh, any way we can with that su making suggestions for uh, improvement so that's just a brief uh, overview of some of the biofeedback programs in the SCIO thanks for watching if you uh, would like I'd be Glad to help you uh, learn the program and or if you need help with your computer, I may be able to help with that too. And you can send me an email at laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com, laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com. Or uh, you can visit my sites. Uh, it would be uh, quantum-biofeedback.webs.com or bodyelectric.webs.com or qxlaptopservices.webs.com. Thanks for watching.